Fun fact quiz. Which cannabinoid is found in chocolate? And can you use that information to keep yourself out of prison? I'm Lex Pelger. I do can education for CV Sciences, the makers of Plus CBD. It was excellent CBD, THC, PEA, CBDA, and CBN products. On the cannabinoids, ask me anything. It was back in 1996 that Dr. Danielle Piomelli and his team found the endocannabinoid anandamide in chocolate. Anandamide is also known as a neurotransmitter of bliss, and it is found widespread throughout our brains as well as our bodies. The father of the endocannabinoid system and the co-discoverer of anandamide, Dr. Raphael Mishulam, said, The discovery of anandamide in chocolate is totally unexpected and may be relevant to the well-known chocolate craving. But he wanted to see if that was enough to cause psychoactivity. So Dr. Raphael Mishulam joined up with Dr. Vincenzo DiMarzo, who is a hero of the endocannabinoid system, as well as Dr. Esther Freed, who is a personal hero of mine for her work on how the cannabinoids affect females differently. And she's done a lot of great research in that field. And this superstar team looked at what the effects would be from these endocannabinoids. It turns out that this class of fatty acid lipids are only found at pretty low levels in chocolate, 50 micrograms per gram or so. But not only did they find those, they also found oleamide, which is another endocannabinoid in the brain that is very helpful for sleep. So they gave those levels of those fatty acid lipids to mice and put them through the general cannabimetic test that we use to see if things act like cannabinoids. And these include pretty gross level tests, as the researchers said, ambulation, rearing up, immobility, analgesia or pain killing, and hypothermia. And they found that this wasn't enough to change things on those high levels. But they did end the paper saying that we could use more subtle tests here to find out what's going on. And that's possible that this longing or craving for chocolate might be because of the low amounts of anandamide or the good feelings that you get from it. Because ananda is the Sanskrit word for bliss, and that's why they named this anandamide. Finally, for my favorite part of the story, there was a drug dealer in Belgium who got caught with a lot of cannabis and was accused of both smoking it and selling it. So when his urine analysis came up positive for cannabis, him and his lawyer said, no, 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 this is because he eats massive amounts of chocolate. So these Belgian scientists wanted to see if that was true. And so they took these fatty acid lipids and they put them in the urine and then tested the urine and it came up negative for cannabinoids. So they said, as a result, the lawyer's claim could be refuted and the accused was convicted. Narks. So while this won't help you on your drug screenings, you do have one more reason to eat massive amounts of chocolate and that's because it boosts your endocannabinoid system.